The year was 1975 in the heart of Manhattan where the social elite resided. A chilling discovery was made unraveling a story that would later inspire a New York best-selling novel and subsequently a psychological thriller movie by the renowned director David Cronenberg titled Dead Ringers. The narrative weaves through the extraordinary lives of 45-year-old identical twins Cyril and Stuart Marcus, once esteemed members of the medical fraternity whose lives tragically ended in a shared drug-induced mental breakdown. The story of their rise to prominence and their subsequent precipitous fall from grace provoked a fascination that has endured to this day. And before we delve deeper into the peculiar circumstances that surrounded the lives and deaths of the Marcus brothers, I encourage you to subscribe to the Dr. Creepy Show. It's a small click for you, but for us, it really means a lot. Born on June 2, 1930, Stuart and Cyril Marcus led lives that mirrored each other in an eerily identical manner up until their concurrent demise in 1975. As per a report published in Esquire magazine in 1976, the brothers' childhood was spent together. They attended the same college, pledged allegiance to the same fraternity, and earned similar academic honors. Both were respected obstetrician gynecologists affiliated with New York Hospital and Cornell University Medical College and ran a prosperous private practice. And they were not merely siblings with shared professions, but they also co-authored a landmark textbook on obstetrics and gynecology and jointly penned several articles in various medical journals on infertility, marking their place in the medical community. However, their promising careers took a dark turn as they descended into the abyss of drug addiction. Over a span of several years, they exhibited erratic behavior that raised eyebrows among patients and colleagues alike. Their professional duties were neglected. They missed shifts at the hospital, canceled appointments at their private practice, and even began impersonating each other in an almost theatrical display. Instances of one twin abandoning his patient mid-examination only for the other to return to complete it began to surface. Such unprofessional conduct inevitably led to interventions by the hospital board aiming to safeguard the patients and the hospital's reputation from potential malpractice. Moreover, there were incidents of alarming outbursts and uncontrolled fits of rage, as was the case when Stuart Marcus reportedly lashed out at a patient for a minor infraction. In a separate incident, one of the brothers removed an anesthetic mask from a patient during a procedure to use it himself only to be swiftly relieved by his twin, whose sluggish demeanor and groggy appearance raised further concerns. Two, the revelation that the Marcus brothers had been operating under the influence of narcotics sent shockwaves through the medical community, highlighting the dire consequences of their unchecked addiction. In June 1975, a month before their simultaneous demise, the hospital delivered the news to Stuart and Cyril that their long-standing affiliations, which spanned an impressive 15 years, were to be terminated at the start of July. Happens, the brothers were given the opportunity to contest the decision before the board, but fate had a tragic twist in store. They never made it to their appeal, having already succumbed to their untimely end. Starting that week, residents of the Twins' upscale Manhattan apartment complex began voicing complaints about a foul odor permeating from their shared residence. On July 17, 1975, the building's handyman made a grim discovery the lifeless bodies of the brothers in separate rooms. The state of the apartment was a shocking testament to their descent into squalor. Refuse strewn across the floor, half-eaten meals, half-empty soda bottles, and used plastic garment covers littered the living space, a stark contrast to the brothers' once immaculate lifestyles. A chilling detail was an armchair, repurposed as a makeshift toilet in their last days, filled with fecal matter. Conjecture around the cause of their deaths led to theories of mental illness and a potential suicide pact. 
The spotlight then turned to Dr. Fuchs, the department chair at New York Hospital during the Marcus twins' tenure, his seemingly apathetic approach and tolerance in the face of mounting evidence against the brothers' fitness to practice medicine came under intense scrutiny. At the very least, he appeared hesitant to intervene in their deteriorating private practice, raising questions about the hospital's commitment to patient safety. Uh, one could argue that the New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center jeopardized the lives and welfare of its patients by neglecting to act swiftly upon the first inkling of the brothers' issues. In an initial response to the Marcus twins' unsettling deaths, the hospital adopted a stance of denial. However, under mounting pressure, it was compelled to defend its actions, reversing its prior refusal to discuss whether it had taken any measures to safeguard patients from potential malpractice or to support the troubled brothers. The New York Times reports on the twins' decline reignited an age-old debate on how to best shield the public from medical practitioners who may pose a risk to their health and safety. Access, you know, this tragic tale underscores the importance of robust oversight and swift intervention when healthcare professionals exhibit signs of instability that could endanger patients. Three, the enigma surrounding Cyril Marcus's death deepened with the release of his final autopsy report, which surprisingly revealed no traces of barbiturates or other narcotics. Furthermore, his body exhibited no signs of fatal convulsions, a common occurrence during withdrawal, leaving the actual cause of Cyril's demise shrouded in mystery. Barry Wood and Jack Guilin's psychological thriller novel Twins draws inspiration from the intriguing life and perplexing death of the Marcus brothers. A mere two years after the Twins' unfortunate demise, once was published, quickly gaining recognition and achieving a notable feat of featuring on the New York Times bestseller list for 12 consecutive weeks. Uh, the gripping narrative was later repurposed into the critically acclaimed film Dead Ringers by the visionary filmmaker David Cronenberg. Cronenberg's remarkable portfolio of work is renowned for its chilling visuals and disturbing characters, often navigating the crossroads of psychology and technology, and delving into the terror intrinsic to the human body. His unique, unselling films have carved a distinct niche within their genre, with Dead Ringers standing out as one of his most applauded and horrific productions. His Dead Ringers provides a cinematic platform for the narrative of Elliot and Beverly Mantle, identical twin brothers and gynecologists based in New York. These characters are portrayed as fictionalized versions of the real-life Marcus brothers. Set against the backdrop of the 1970s, the plot explores the siblings' rivalry as they wrestle with their individual identities and the balance of power in their codependent relationship. Despite their professional success, the brothers' lead lives marked by decadence and excessive drug use. The practice of switching places to deceive and seduce their female patients ultimately leads their lives down a destructive path. A film traces their downward spiral into madness as each brother embarks on a psychotic journey to create terrifying medical instruments for deeply personal and horrifying reasons spurred by drug-induced hallucinations. Cronenberg's depiction of Elliot and Beverly, while inspired by Stuart and Cyril Marcus, incorporates significant creative liberties, particularly in exploring their tormented psychologies and personal ambitions. The film's portrayal of the brothers' deceptive behaviors, where they impersonate each other to deceive multiple women, starkly contrasts their real lives, which remain relatively uneventful until their tragic end. Renowned actor Jeremy Irons was tasked with the challenging dual role of the Mantle brothers, although initially provided with separate dressing rooms and costumes for each character. Irons chose a more unified approach, electing to use a single dressing room and merging the wardrobes of both characters. And this decision was rooted in the belief that the essence of the story lies in the audience's occasional confusion. Five. In a nuanced approach to embodying both Elliot and Beverly, Irons resorted to a physical differentiation that was subtly perceptible yet impactful. He performed one character with his weight on the balls of his feet and the other with his weight on his heels, thus infusing each with a distinct persona. While Dead Ringers prominently mirrors the lives of Stuart and Cyril Marcus, director Peter Greenaway recounts an intriguing incident where Cronenberg engaged him in a two-hour discussion about his film Azette and Two Knots. 
The psychological drama, which portrays identical twin zoologists, became a subject of Cronenberg's interest eight months prior to filming the adaptation of Barry Wood's novel. Dead Ringers, despite its emotionally attached demeanor, delves into unsettling questions about the nature of individual identity. It explores a myriad of themes, from eroticism to narcissism, misogyny, and even the dichotomy between masculinity and femininity. The long-standing tradition of cinema often intertwines the themes of medicine and horror with chilling tales of mad scientists, experiments gone awry, perverse caregivers, terrifying instruments, grotesque human anatomy, and horrifying bodily transformation. And the reason why narratives revolving around medicine and human anatomy evoke such horror and suspense is simple. They represent the loss of ultimate control, specifically over one's own body. And if you can't control your body or what transpires within, you are essentially stripped of control over anything. Twins also form a recurring motif in horror films, with an iconic reference being the Eardrum Sisters, from The Shining as a Dead Ringers, masterfully blends the themes of medicine and twins and undeniably qualifies as a horror film. The Marcus Brothers' intertwined lives, which led them to the same ecstatic pursuit, the same addictions, the same downward spiral, and ultimately the same tragic end, underlines the struggle of forging an individual identity amidst the overpowering bond of kinship that often stunts personal growth. In conclusion, the real-life narrative of the Marcus brothers, once highly respected New York doctors, evolved into a tale of struggle, substance abuse, and untimely demise, inspiring an iconic cult horror classic from one of the most influential genre directors. So which aspect of the Marcus Brothers' story sent shivers down your, my sign? Are you intrigued to watch Dead Ringers or any of David Cronenberg's other masterpieces? Let me know down in the comments. I really like to know, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I humbly thank you for watching. See you.